stampers. This is Amy Whalen. Thanks for coming by Amy's Inklings. I've made this cute little project with a stamp set called For Peep's Sake. And I'm just going to show you real quickly three things that I did to put it together. Um, I want to show you how to dry emboss with our embossing folders and the Big Shot. I want to show you how to mask out part of the image. This little chicky is part of this stamp and I only wanted him. I'm going to show you one very simple way to do that. And then I also want to show you how to tie this bow easily. Bow tying for a lot of people including myself is very difficult. I don't know why that is but this is an easy almost a cheating way to tie it. So let's get started. Alright first we're going to use the Big Shot, and it does shake the table when I use this, so I do apologize. Now with the embossing folders, we have to use our regular platform, but on platform one. So you simply open this up, and you insert it into the Big Shot. You go ahead and you put one of the plates down. And then you take your embossing folder. This is called large polka dots. Um, you open these up and you put in a piece of cardstock. This is rose red that I've cut down to four by five and a quarter. Um, and you simply close it up like a sandwich. Okay. So again, on the big shot, you have your plate one on the regular platform. You put down one of your plastic um, cutting pads. You include the um, embossing folder with the cardstock in it, and then you sandwich your other plate on top, and you send it through. And I have a tendency to actually send it forward and then back, just to double check that you have what you need. And then when you take it out, there you go. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and stamp this little chickadee over here. I have found <laughs> with trial and error that it's easiest in this particular case to punch first. Usually I I um, stamp and then I punch, but because I'm using two different stamps, I found that it's easier to um, get them where I want them if I pre pre-punch. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape, because again, I only want this chicky. I don't want the other chickies. So I'm simply putting tape on top. It's such a primitive way of masking out an image, but hey, it works. Okay? So with our Daffodil Delight, I go ahead and ink it. And this is when you carefully remove the tape. Now here, this is the only challenge with this particular method. You can get ink on your fingers and you don't want that because you'll end up smearing the paper and having to refilm this several times. See what I said there? Alright, so let's go ahead and stamp the chicky. Yay! And then, rose red. Here's the greeting. It's going to go right alongside it. And then all I did, and this is so quick and easy, is I took our markers. This is pumpkin pie. I used the fine tip to color his nose. I used the fine tip of our black one to make his beady, cute little eyes. And then I used the fine tip of our, this is certainly, oh, pear pizzazz, certainly celery. Listen to that. That's an old, retired color. And I find that I call this certainly celery because they're similar. Those of you who've been around with Stampin' Up! for a while will remember that color. Pear pizzazz. And then I just drew on the grass. And that's how I did that. So again, that's how I masked out these, no, excuse me, these two images so that I could just keep that one. Okay? The next thing I want to show you is how I cheated and tied this ribbon on. Okay. I took a piece of pear pizzazz ribbon and it's roughly nine inches and all I did was I taped it to the back side. Now I don't know about you guys but I really struggle with tying ribbons sometimes especially when I'm filming so this is just a surefire way of doing it very easily. 
All right, so where's the little one that I just stamped? Here we go. So we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to put it on the side so that it goes over the ribbon. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how to tie on that bow and then we'll be done. All right, so we're gonna put that here. And then I took another piece of Pear Pizzazz Chevron ribbon and I slipped it underneath and I simply tied it in a knot. It was that easy. See? Okay. And that's how I got that bow. So it, it's a surefire way of tying bows without getting your thumbs all tangled up and getting just so frustrated. It's just a simple way of cheating and making it look like you know what you're doing. So thanks so much for stopping by Amy's Inklings. I hope to see you here soon. Bye-bye.